What's up all the way Driven family? I finally got a chance to watch episode 8 of Preachers Ever Late, season 2 of course. Um, First of all, I just want to thank all my all the way Driven family for helping us to get over 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 1K, yay, little old me. And I thank you for everybody who's downloaded all my singles on SoundCloud, who've been showing me mad love, who've been retweeting, sharing, listening, giving me feedback on my latest project, which is Caught Up. Description's in the link, you know. Uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, now, you guys know how I do. I take one subject out of Pictures of Lay and I kind of stick with it and make that the, the theme of the video. Um, <clears throat> In this particular episode, it was mostly on Bishop or Pastor Wayne Cheney's brother and his mother. First of all, I just can't believe that this is mother. It gotta be actor. She just look. She going on sixty two. I'm not saying it. It's just sixty two. She look way too good. I know black people age well, but they gotta be like. She gotta be like two years older than him, <laughs> cause she look mad good. But anyway. Um, I've been in that situation before where I've been, you know, bumping heads with my mom and things from the past, and you know, it's just you're not in a good place. But thank God we've gotten to a good place in our relationship, and you know, it's all good. And she makes me a part of my brother's life, you know what I'm saying? I'm the male model in his life, I'm the positive example, you know what I'm saying? It's very important as parents that we set the example even though I'm not a parent yet. You know, I have a role to play, so whatever position I play in life, somebody's always watching. You mess up and you see how many people come out in the world in out of the woodwork. You know what I'm saying? People are always watching you. They may not like your statuses, they may not say anything, but people are always watching. I look at the views of how many people like or, or don't like and then I consider, well, somebody has to be watching it, obviously, because the views keep going up. And I keep getting subscribers. <clears throat> so, I just thank God for all the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you have to take those experiences and you have to turn the negative into a positive. God can be glorified. Life can be so much better and beautiful if you let it. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's a lot easier said than done. Trust me and believe me when I say that. It is a process, but when you get up, get to the point in your life where you like, I just want to be happy. I'm in that place right now. Like, I want to be happy. I want to have everything that God has for me. You know what I'm saying? I want the wife. I want the kids. I want the house. I want the cars. I want the vacations. I want the ministry. I want it all. I may never get it all at once or have it all at once, but God gave us life. That's salvation and life more abundantly. That's how you live here on earth. And if you can just, and sometimes it feels like hell trying to make peace with family and friends. But if God ordained it, you have to get it fixed or nothing in your life is going to work out right. That I can promise you. And you have to decide and talk to God what those things are. Some things, the reason why a lot of times things in our life don't go right is because we're holding on to the wrong things, the wrong people, the wrong situations. And I'm going to give you a quick example. <clears throat> It was this particular individual who we're um, friends on Facebook and you know how you ever fall apart from somebody you kind of wonder what happens and then when you reconnect with them you figure out why you fell apart in the first place. Well this particular person saw me on the bus the other night <coughs> excuse me, and um, you know he did like this and you know I did it back like what's up. I mean I didn't really know who he was. I, I just, you know, I was on my phone or doing whatever I was doing, so I wasn't paying attention. So by the time I was about to get off, I kind of remember that my mom was like, oh, this is the boy I went to church with, blah, 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 blah. You know, we had to start kicking, start kicking it afterwards, and this communication is horrible. So when we reunited, I found out how weird he was, so, <laughs> and how bad his communication was. And I'm like, okay, see, people can't even last two days without reminding you why they could not stick around and communication is very key to me but I didn't trip you know what I'm saying because everybody is it doesn't matter how nice they are it doesn't mean something is wrong with them per se but everybody's not to meet to be on your team and I felt like that was a distraction from where I needed to be uh you know what I'm saying so I was like I wasn't even too much tripping so you have to recognize that even family friendships or situations all those minor things it can be distractions distraction you have to stay focused on why God put you here. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Even with Ron Gibson and the man in jail, those are distractions. You messed up, now go ahead and correct it. You understand what I'm saying? You messed up, correct it. You messed up, correct it. Don't keep falling in the same sin, but correct the situation. And one more thing, and I'll let you guys know. <clears throat> the situation with um, Bishop Noel and Levette, need I say, need I say any more? The man is not going to marry you. I hope they, I don't know how many more episodes they're going to have, but he's not going to marry you, sweetheart. It's been, I'm trying to figure out how I got past five years, and yeah, she's calling it a friendship, but it's not a friendship. You don't marry friends. I mean, I would hope not, you know, in that sense. So, five, 10, 15, 20 years? I'm, I'm just not getting it. She's surprised. Okay, so where was he? What was y'all doing the first 15, 10, five years? So, what's that thing that old people say? Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Just saying. Thank you guys. Like, share, comment. If I miss anything, holla at me. Thank you for all the love. Make sure you support my upcoming projects. And when my album comes out this winter, 2014, make sure you buy it on iTunes, Amazon, and wherever you can sell. It feels so good to say that. But in the meantime, I got a lot of free, good, really good gospel music. On soundcloud.com slash all the way driven. Alright. Love you guys. Be blessed. Stay driven.